All right, people, welcome back. More Dev Pro Dual Commentary. So we are joined by Stanzi. Hello, everyone. So uh, you see Metaphos over here versus, I don't know, but they dropped that Maxi. Uh, this is that, pre list That semi-limited Maxi. Well, it, I know it's before the list, but yeah, still. This, this like, when I saw that, I was like... Freaking oh. Dev Pro didn't update. Why'd well, you have her updated, but Dev Pro didn't, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so. well, but that list, though. Jesus Christ, he's, he's going balls deep. Why not? Why not, man? If you're gonna semi limit maxi, that means I have to play triple part of desires. I gotta draw. Like, this is Yu Gi Oh, man. I gotta draw. <laughs> mm -hmm. When everything is at three in your Metal Foes deck, then I don't Can't think you might. Demise, nah, that's fine. Solemn Strike, nah, that's fine. But that maxi, let's hit that. Mm hmm. Like, what? So, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and discuss the list. <laughs> It yeah. was meh. Really? It did some I, meh. It, it did some meta hits, which is nice, but I don't think it did enough. You hit Burning Abyss the complete wrong fucking way. Complete Beatrice wrong. Way. They instead always of, do. Instead of, instead of Dante Beatrice, you hit it the complete fucking wrong way. Ooh. No card demise hit. No solemn strike hits. Maxi, because why the fuck not, I guess. Mm -hmm. Kaiser Kit follows him, because why the fuck like, not. It was I, that, very... That's still, like, what? <laughs> it was just a very weird list. Like, it, I think it only did a couple things right. Everything else, it, you just left scratching your head. Or, like, where's this? Where's this? So, so did you just I, legitimately... I give it, like, 3 out of 10. Damn. Damn. 3 out of 10. You're harsh. You're harsh. I'd give it, like, a 7 out of 10. That list is oh, actually pretty good. Generous. No, that list was actually pretty good. Yeah, no, but it didn't do enough. That, that's why it's it, a seven. Like, God yeah. damn, if that's if Konami does that, and that's a three, then I don't want to know what a ten is for you, because it's probably like fucking, fucking destroy every single deck. <laughs> every single deck except Ghost Tricks, Ghost Trick Master Race. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe he actually twin twister that metal foes. Like, ah, I, I kind of knew something was gonna be down there. I was thinking maybe like a combination, maybe like a something yeah, else. Yeah, but... don't. When it comes to metal foes, you don't typically want to. Uh, oh shit, he did the max. No, no, no you get max seed. It's like Oprah, everyone gets a maxi, you get a maxi. Yeah, hey, that's why they have to semi limit it. Everybody's just throwing in three maxi. Oh, yeah, totally. That's so broken. I mean, I mean, the thing is, I kind of, in the back of my mind, I kind of saw it coming. I was like, I was like, okay, so they hit Upstart Goblin. What's stopping them from hitting maxi? I mean, at, at the minimum, if they do like an inherent summon that you could see coming or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but if you're going to be hitting a pick. generic fucking card that everyone bloody plays, you might as well go for card the mice, go for the jugular, because that's what a lot of people play. They just fucking whack in some more bat row in their deck, trim down the monster count, fucking triple card the mice, let's go, boy. Like... <laughs> so, monkey board, I mean, that was, that was an easy call. Yeah. That was an easy call. <laughs> Pendulum call, I guess. I haven't seen hey, 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 I'm going, down, I'm going down the list, damn. Right. I don't have it open in front of me. I have it open. <laughs> uh, Kaiser Coliseum. Ooh, that, came out of, that came out of nowhere. Like, if you were ever going to do anything to Kaiser Coliseum, you could have done oh, it in shit. the Bujin era. Be seeing, are we going to be seeing some fucking Infinity or fucking Ultimaya? Probably Ultimaya. No, not Infinity. Yeah, not Infinity. Yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> I, I keep thinking, I keep seeing five, I'm like, Infinity! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody make <laughs> Infinity! <laughs> Still having the night terrors. Infinity, ah! <laughs> so, Kaiser Coliseum, I mean, I don't know. I thought you were maybe done it in the Bujan area, maybe limited to one. Yeah, like, just... not, and like, why are you gonna ban it? Like, oh yeah, va uh, Vanities, I mean, completely fine at one, you know, fucking Vanities Fiend, completely fine at three. But no, that fucking Kaiser Coliseum, boy, we gotta hit that shit, like. Seriously, yeah, out of all the floodgates, you hit the one that no one fucking playing. Not the fucking anti-spell fragrance. Not, not even like, not even like the most helmet card that the mice fucking draw a shit ton of cards and just set back around and fuck you up for days. Deck. Oh look, he's playing Bonkaboo to search fucking. Oh, Kieran. but there's already two kittens right there. I mean, we'll get yeah, to I that. I mean, like I said, you could just run Bunkaboo to search the kittens. So. Yeah. And it's not like, oh, well, if it's Keaton's your only target for Bunkaboo, then it'll be a dead search. You know Bunkaboo can search for Bunkaboo, right? Mm-hmm. And that's just another monster that can't be destroyed by card effect, can't be targeted, ends the level 3 to make some rank 3 plays. So what you talking about, man? So, no. So those are our only bans, you know? No no card demise, no anything. Stupid. Like... Should have been card demise on uh, mm -hmm. the... Ah... <sighs> 
so a limited like sir and, and there should have been a dante in the band line oh yeah Sorry. sir and beatrice like please like, konami sir, konami i only have one I, question for you i only have one question for you who konami. is fucking doing these burning abyss hits no 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 that's not my question my question is was dante's dick that good who the fuck did Dante fuck to, like, getting hit Economy, again? No. I, it just seems like they're going to do everything possible to not have Dante be hit. Like, if fucking... Watch, next time. PK Fire is still going to be relevant. It's still going to be top tier shit. As long as watch Dante not Dante. get hit, and then they're going to start I mean, doing like that. I mean, some people are like, no, Dante doesn't want, but I think, like I said, I've said this a couple of times, Dante ban, because as long as you've got one Dante, you only need fucking one. That's it. Usually, when they usually when PK Fire get all their shit ready to fuck you up for the rest of the door, what do they do? They usually just make one Dante. They can make multiples, but usually it's just one fucking I, Dante I, I, that I, I, they need and one fucking set of free mills, really. But those mills have to be good. It's still luck based. It's better than yeah. okay. I make one Dante and mill shit. Oh, okay. Well, there goes my one Dante instead of just you know Dante mill three oh. Dante mill three. Like I, I've seen PK Fire bust out three Dantes in one turn, right. especially well, with the Tarot Top and uh, Takatambo combo. Yep. I mean, what the fuck was he gonna do? I know. What the fuck you was stop. he gonna do? You got the you fucking Keating wreck in him, the Ignister. Like it was just, like yeah. GG. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go to game two. Um, but yeah, anyway. yeah, because I've seen I've seen PK Fire bust out multiple Dantes on the first turn, and the more Dantes you have, the more first turn mills that you get. At least if you limit it to one, you only get that one mill, and then I'm gonna kill your Dante, and then he's done. But no, no, Dante is still at three. You put Sir down to one, okay? So you can still do the Sir Dante loop because you only need one Sir, one Dante to loop the shit out of those two, and you still have Scarm at three, which means I'm that you still have the high consistency. Of Sir. Damn. Fucking anti spell and vanity. I'm surprised we didn't see the bloody um anti spell. Anti spell. Like, like you no. put Kaiser over anti spell. Like anti spell was the one that was way worse than freaking anti spell. Just fucks Gun. pendulums. Mm -hmm. like, it just says like, you can't play your pendulums. So fuck you. But it definitely seems like Konami doesn't give two fucks about pendulums if they're not relevant to the time of you know their sets. Yeah. Because they kicked fucking. Magicians in the nuts, they kick performer powers in the nuts, and they're like, they're like, everybody get some play metal foes, <laughs> which this guy clearly is. Um, so yeah, they're burning a bit. So it's like, okay, one Beatrice, like, I guess you can't do the fucking oh, okay, so there goes your vanities. You just want to stall him for a turn, I guess, and it's probably just like a combination or something. So you're gonna allow him to search again, like. I, I, I seriously doubt that there's a legitimate back row in his deck. Oh, wow, he's set the pot of desires. Cause why the fuck not, I guess. He's always probably going to play it next turn, won't he? Because he can't. Cause yep, and you can go like... ahead and catch that uh, Psycho Reader. Nice. Yep, yep. We saw a lot of that at Worlds. And Beatrice. So you can't do Beatrice Turbo Spam, but... I mean... Triple Dante. <laughs> who the fuck? Who the fuck was doing that anyway? I, I only played one Beatrice anyway, so that, that's fine. So Sir and Beatrice, like okay, not Scarm, because you probably nope. should. You probably should have hit Scarm to lower the consistency of the search. Because whether you detach it or you mill it, that that, that unfaced Scarm search that's always good, always good. It just seems like OCG had Burning Abyss for less time than we did, and they did better hits than we did. Like it's so stupid. It's like TCG is doing everything in their power to avoid hitting fucking. Why did you summon that attack mode? Whatever. Avoid fucking hitting. Uh, Dante. Dante. Fucking stupid. Yeah, no. uh, but, uh, so, your Burning Abyss hits? Boo. But your Monarch hits? My nigga Konami. <laughs> <laughs> I am all for that. So, they hit Ether Pantheism. And Storm Ever, Ever is the big Ever is the big one that can summon itself from the hand by tributing monsters, right? Which are yeah, your opponent's yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the one that yeah, fucks yeah, you. That's, that's the boss ass bitch, yeah. Yeah, because I, I I can't believe it. I literally put that shit like I kinda feel stupid. I did that video and I said top five hits that Konami should do and won't do. And I think they did what, two of them? Yeah. No, three of them. Three of them. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I said they should hit Ether, they should hit Keating. Well, and I also said it picks Avion, but Keating is, is a fine start, and they should hit Pendulum Call. And I was like, they're not going to do it, and they fucking did it, so, okay. But, yeah, Ether, Ether limited to one, like, that's the biggest hit, wow. Well, oh, Phil the Flow scooped. 
He's like, he hit me with that anti spell. He summoned that blue eyes. That's GG. Like, I can't set up my pendulum scale. It's like, yep, yep, uh, yep. yep. So we are, we are going on game to three. Uh, game three. All right, bear back. But yeah, Ether Limited, that's like the biggest, that's like the best thing they could have done, really. Like, Pantheism, mm -hmm. that, that was a given, like, yes. But then outside of that, like, like I guess you could have copied off the OCG and did Domain, but that really wouldn't have done much. Uh, you could have done Monarch Storm Fourth, but, you, you know, that, oh, he's doing that combo. He's doing that combo. All right, I've seen, I've seen this. So All right. they already played, the, you know, the, the Summoner's yeah. Art because they can search their Metaphors. Metaphors, yeah, so they're just going to, like, shove some fuck. Okay. okay, but no, they they thrown into the scout, and put the scout, scout will search the monolith, then they put a metaphose, blow, use a metaphose, blow up the scout, get their search, and then when they set their pendulum scales and pendulum summon, they got scout and monolith the pendulum summon. Oh, aren't those two level five machine monsters? Infinity, mm -hmm. fuck yeah. So, that, I mean, that's a combo that I definitely think that metaphose would do. Mm. All right, well, well, this duel is over, but we're not done yep. talking, so I guess we'll get another duel. Be right back. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, yeah. there he is. Yep, there he is, going up for two, let's go! So, so people are like, oh, Thunder King, it's not going to be a problem. You'll fucking see, man, you'll fucking see. Especially the first freaking deck that I'm going to be playing with the Utah Regional. Like, if I get fucked up because Thunder King is at two, I'll fucking cry. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, Ether, because now you can't go Ether... Like, Monarch Storm Force, Ether during your opponent's turn, Ether, grab, summon an Ether, and the Ether will turn to your hand, and you'll get set up for next time. Like, no, you only got one fucking Ether. Like, that, that was great. Pantheism, that was a given. You definitely should have hit that down to one. And then, you hit the Monarch Storm Force too, like, wow. Like, Monarchs just, no. Yeah, they did, they did fucking kick Monarchs and nuts. That's, like, one of the good things. That's why it's, mm -hmm. like, a three for me, not, like, a two or a one. God damn, you are harsh. You are fucking I am. harsh. I am, but so, still. They they should have, I'm sorry, but the lack of the lack of fucking um, bloody uh, solemn strike and card eyes, the random fucking the, I know, but the random maxi as well, fucking T King going up, like mm -hmm. these things are like what seriously knock it down for me. So, God damn. You know. So it'd be nice. Plus, I mean, you can, you can go ahead and go into the C, but oh wait, Thunder King fucks you up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. So That's all inherent. So what's next? Hit? What's next? Hit? Um. We got a couple of Cosmo hits, so... Yeah, I uh, think Dark Destroyer went to one, and e -Telly. Yep, yep. Uh, so, e -Telly is gonna probably do more than Dark Destroyer. Wait, wait, so a just wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, before we begin. Did you just no. summon fucking Magispector Fox while you have a Thunder King on your field? You fucking idiot. <laughs> Alright. Why? Good job fucking yourself. <laughs> I guess he didn't want to search anyway. And it's not like your fox can do anything. It can't get over fucking that dark refer, and it can't get over the fucking booty of a uh, monk. Oh, and you got oh, that fucking bird in your force. Yep, yep, got What does the fox say? It says get the sack and the fuck down. Damn. Oh, damn. Damn. Look at him dab and hit that fucking surrender button. Okay, I guess we're going to surrender game button too. a bit of a bibby dabby do. Alright, right, we're going to continue talking while they're siding. That's fine. Uh,. I mean, we're only 13 minutes in, we're already in game two. Who's to say I'll go to game three, so we need to wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, the Dark Destroyer Limited and the Emergency Teleport Limited for Cosmos. Cosmos uh, are still good. Yeah, I, I, I mean, the, the E-Tally did fucking more than the bloody Dark Destroyer hit, because they're just going to go into other shit now. It's not like they haven't got any big monsters. they got that bloody, what, that one that stops traps now. Uh, Dark Eclipser? Yeah, they got that. Probably the problem is with that is that there's not too many stuff. traps being ran. And especially since they ruled that you cannot negate the, the, the fucking... Wow, really, Dab King? Really? Really? You caught that fucking Stormy Mirror Force and just fucking quit? Alright, alright. We're just gonna get, like, maybe, like, a single. We're almost done. Yeah. Like, wow. Okay, we got a single, and uh, we have uh, gadgets. Okay, with no extra deck, so... You're not gonna see any gear guy or anything like that. No I guess gold not. silver gadget. It's gold and silver gadget. I mean, now? Is, I mean, isn't the whole point though with the fucking gadgets to like use them as a rank four engine? Yeah, yeah, to was, plus so, and make rank fours. No idea what you're gonna be doing here, Rick, with Rick twelve eighty five with no extra. Oh my god. Yep, you can go ahead and catch this kaiju, which is, I think it's gonna start being thrown in a lot more decks. The kaiju engine, they got their own dark hole. You can uh, banish to uh, go ahead and get that search of the kaiju, and you can, uh, you know, just get over a monster. Like well, that as kaiju, for yeah. the uh, the Cosmo hits, uh, Itali's gonna be doing the most. I don't see hitting Dark Eclipse doing 
Doctor, Doctor Str- Strange. I think Doctor Strange is a Doctor huge hit. Because the other ones aren't that great in comparison. I know, oh, but dude, it's not like they're not fucking running like triple call the haunted and fucking soul charges and shit like that already, you know. They're just gonna fucking oh you killed it, oh right, well it's gonna come right back. So you book a moon your own monster why? Oh, so you can summon different kaiju. Okay. Okay, I mean you can I, I still don't moon. agree with that, but Yeah. But okay. I guess. So go ahead and take your freaking gradle, crash into the kaiju, take the kaiju. Or can you only control one kaiju? No, you're gonna cr- go kaiju, kill the kaiju. Oh, okay. Okay. Why? You could have had the gradle with oh, the kaiju. Oh, you, you can only control one kaiju monster. All right. Period. Okay. So this kaiju monster cannot be I was about to say, you could have had it all. Period. Why? Oh, okay. Uh, the emergency teleport, I mean, you didn't hit tin can, so emergency stuff, three tin can. If anything, you just saw your consistency at maybe like a farm girl beating or, you know, the, the tin can play. But overall, it's still fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. S- okay, but he could still just crash that grade away and then take the kaiju back and then hit you with the kaiju. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I think Dark Destroyer hits big. I really do. I really do think that's a big hit. I guess we'll Cause see. Because all, all the rest of them, the, the problem with the reason, and why the reason why Ka- uh, Cosmos will still be good, is because you still have Tinkin at three, you have t- Count at three, you have Strike at three, and you have Card Demise at three. Because mm. Card Demise Cosmos was probably one of the bigger decks of the Card Demise variant. You saw. Like, you saw a little bit of uh, Cleese and stuff, but it was definitely more of uh, Cosmos doing it. So now there's even more incentive. I need yeah. to get to my Cosmo Towns faster so I can make sure that I always have my Dark Strain play. I need to get to my Tin Can faster. So you're need probably. To get to my Call of the Haunted faster. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so there's probably no dispute. You're probably going to be seeing, you know, the majority of Cosmo decks you're going to be seeing are going to be the Card of Demise variant over, you know, Fire King Cosmos or Pure Cosmos or whatever. So that's yeah. still a thing. But Dark Destroyer hit down the one, that's fine, because you got rid of their, their big boss monster. Like, Dark Eclipse's not good right now. You you lost some of the levels to, to even play Dark Planet, so you're probably not going to be running him. So, it's mostly just one Dark Destroyer. You're going to be running Forerunner, because PK Fire has a problem against Forerunner, because he's stronger than anything they can summon, and he can't be targeted as well. So, it's going to be more Forerunner. You don't have any access to your rank 8 plays that they love to do. You know, the Harp, the Fel- Hope, the Felgram... Uh, the, the Lancelot slap on top a, um, uh, the two spiders to go into your uh, number 77. They can't do that play anymore, so they, they lost a lot. They really did. It was only one Dark Destroyer. So overall, not terrible. It's just, if you would have hit, like, Card of Demise and shit, too, we, we could yeah. talk, but you didn't. So you didn't. Cosmos are still going to be there. And uh, you hit a little bit of Pendulum. So you hit that Keating down to one, which I'm very surprised that you did. But like I said, they could still just But play then you didn't follow two. it up by hitting the fucking... The bunker wheel. If you're gonna hit Karen, hit the bunker wheel, or just ban the Karen. Like, yeah. don't do one. So we, we're gonna be seeing Kidding's face still. You know, they just gotta find the right pendulum deck, which of course they still have metal foes. So don't worry, you'll definitely see you know the bunker boom, the Kidding, and metal foes. So have fun with that. And they hit the pendulum call. Thank fucking Christ. That's probably my favorite hit on this list. That they actually hit the pendulum call. That came out of nowhere. I didn't think they were gonna do it. It's like you should have done it last list, and all of a sudden you do it this list. It's like, oh, okay. They're always a list behind. Always, always. Except for Dante, then you're never going to get hit. <laughs> so you yeah. go ahead and catch that Twin Twister on the... I mean, Twin Twister, that MST. MST. So used to uh, twist. I mean, if it was a Twin Twister, that'd be pretty nice. So you're going to catch that MST on the Cobra, which means you get rid of him. And then you're going to catch this fucking uninterrupted... I mean, yeah, interrupt, interrupted... Interrupted Sunbrath. Sunbrath, or whatever it is. Yeah, again. So... <laughs> Uh, that card is that card's good. Like I said, I'm starting to see the Kaiju engine they're being thrown into a lot of decks, especially uh, like Pure Burning Abyss. But I'm not mm-hmm. sure if Pure Burning Abyss they'll really try anymore because they did more of a Bur- Beatrice Toe. I think I think Pure Burning Abyss is gonna lean more towards uh, PK Fire. Yeah. Uh, all right. So and that's all the limits. Like I said, the limits are fine. It's just you know where where's my uh, strike? Where's my card demise? Okay. Well, card demise should be where's my Dante. Limited, but... I Can't mean, I don't care. Just something. Just not at three. I know. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Fuck your fucking head. <laughs> no, Al. Fuck your kaiju and get that shit banished. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. I'm the OG over here. Like, wow. I mean, this duel is starting to wind down. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So, sorry, I'm going to Uh, Maxi. Stupid. Like, people really only played two, but I guess you can't just throw in three now. Like... Okay. Does that mean that Maxi's gonna get limited down to one next list? 
<laughs> I hope not. That'd be pathetic. Because, like, wow, all right. Like, okay. So it's pretty much Konami saying, like, hey, instead of playing three and being cloggy, now you play two and don't get cloggy. Like, that, right, was, pro okay. that was probably one of the most pointless semi limits I've seen in a cool minute. Uh, Thunder King Ryo. I'm not sure how I feel Why? about that. Like, Thunder King Ryo is a fucking it's a, boss. It's a black horn and the fucking, um... Mistake. Card that stops you. Mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a black, black horn and a mistake on legs, 1900 beat arc. Are you on crack? Like, that's still good. That's still good today, man. Like, all right, so, shit. I guess that was, like, OCG? Yeah, I all guess. Right. Uh, and wind-up magician, but you didn't get carrier. Well, I was around during the wind-up era, so I've no relevance if that's really a good hit or not. A good hit, or, or not a hit, but, you know, coming back or not, but... I mean, two, that's fine. You know, you don't have carrier, so you're probably still not doing shit. Like, it, it's really, like, a pointless semi-limit, if that. It'll probably move up to three. Uh, and if you want to bring back carrier, you have to ban Hunter. Because what do wind-ups do? They either picked everything out of your fucking hand with wind-up Hunter, so he has to be banned if you're going to bring back carrier. Or, wow, wow. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead oh, yeah, I know, they, I know they had a loot where they just picked everything out of your fucking yeah. hand. Or no. they locked, or they stunned you. Wow, and you, of course you have Crocodile, and you want to start a battle. Is that game? Did fucking Great Okajis get beat by this fucking, wow. Wow. Get beat by Gadget get right. Monarchs? Like, what the fuck? With okay. no extra. With no extra, all right, all right. Um, or they shock mastered you. He's banned. Shock master anything, so. Yeah. Or they did some kind of lock, you know? So with the locks gone, and with wind up hunter ban and carrier coming back, I wouldn't care, you know? I think OCG has two carrier, three hunter. Uh, and ARG, when they did their own list, they had one carrier hunter banned and three uh Wind up editions, like I said, it's really a pointless semi limit. Like, it's not going to promote anybody to play any wind ups. Wind up hunter, or, I mean, wind up magician will probably go up to three. It's just dependent on whether Konami wants to ban hunter and bring back carrier. Because if not, then wind up still on shit. So, yeah. And then we have run unlimits. They just went full on, just does not restrict to three. Like, okay, I thought maybe they're going to follow OCG and put it to two, but nope, three. Like, okay, no, no one you fucking care. It's like, more power to you. If anything, Norden is still the best, even with three <laughs> uh, thousand every strike, so. Yeah. Uh, Alert Darkness, I mean, I called that one. So. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. No fucking Norden ban. No, no Norden ban. So now the list is a two. For you? It's a, it's a 2.5. Damn! I, said, I didn't think they were going to ban Norden. He didn't do too much, so. No, uh, I know. I didn't either, but he uh, should have. That'd be nice. That, it's just like Pendulum Call. It'd just be like a fucking uh, a, a unexpected awesome Christmas present. <laughs> uh, Alert Darkness, they say called that one. I'm just wondering if anybody's really going to play it too much. Like, Cosmos, I mean, with only one Dark Destroyer, not too many Darks, and they're going to be leaning more on Forerunner, who's more of a light. There's less Darks in your deck, so... Um, especially in the Card Demise variants, I don't see them playing in the Card Demise variant, Alert Darkness, even at three. Uh, PK and some and you know those decks decks like that. I'm not sure. Like maybe, maybe they might play it and try to grab their monsters back with like Escape from the Dark Dimension or Escape from the whatever different dimension or whatever that trap card is called. Are you talking a dark yeah. monster? So maybe they'll play that. Someone a banished out. Yeah. Monarchs like maybe if if you if you try you could potentially go triple air base maybe like triple Caius or Mega Caius throw in like triple alert. You still have your Eidos and your Idia. It's just, it's like, it's so hard. It's so difficult. So, you could possibly do something with that. But, yeah. Like, I don't really see... The good way is, um, have we got the other Elder God now in TCG? The uh, one that isn't Norden? The fusion which, that isn't Norden? I don't think we got Oots yet. Oh. Um, yeah, so. Nope. Because <laughs> I was about to say, if, we, if we've got Oots, you know what they probably might revert to? That Mega the board. Monarch. That fucking Megazabot, Rabia Extra deck sort of bullshit, and then they send the Unts, and the Unts pop all your fucking cards, like, that. yeah, at the same time, they might revert to that, because that, that'd be some power. And then, Gold Sarcophagus 3. So, you take Gold Sarcophagus from 1, don't try it even at 2, just put 1 to 3, but fuck Necro Dragon's face. Ravine, and fuck, uh, fuck Dragon's Ravine, and fuck the Breeze Dragon, huh? Yeah, and Necroface things still, so yep, that's, that's gonna be fun. Enjoy the sacky shit that's gonna come from that, because you know people are gonna be like, Oh, Necroface, car! It's gonna be stupid as fuck, you know, and you know, and especially within tandem of fucking uh, Pot of Desires. 
Like, you already played Pot of Desires, mill fucking ten cards out of your deck? Like, okay, well, I'm gonna fucking do uh, Ghost Sarcophagus and Necroface, that's five more cards. Ghost Sarcophagus and Necroface, that's five more cards. <laughs> just, like, manage all the shit in your you. opponent's deck. Just deck them out with fucking Necroface. Like, all right, all right. So, we have two Necrofaces and three Gold Sarks. Like, I was like, if you're gonna put up Necroface, I don't think you should put up Gold Sark. I, 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 I think out of all the real Dragon Ruler cards, I was like, Gold Sark is like, eh. Because it's literally a two-turn away for any card in your deck. Like, yeah. for goodness sake, it's literally a searcher for anything. I mean, the only reason it was good in Dragon Rulers was because they got the effect when they were, you know, <laughs> Gold Sark, so you got a search, pretty much. And it wouldn't be the first time Necro- uh, Gold Sark was limited. No, Gold Sark was limited way, way, way back in the past. Oh, I know, but what I'm saying card. is, like, the reason it was lim- so good in Dragon Rulers was because you'd go with the Gold Sark, and, and then, then you'd, you know, then bash you get the search, Dragon Ruler. And then grab and that Dragon Ruler back. Yeah. Yeah. And then in two turns, you get the Dragon Ruler as well. So it'd, like I said, it'd be good all like the that. Dragon Ruler cards that you decide to move up this time. No, not the Bruce Dragon. No, he has to stay at two. Not fucking Dragon Ruler. No, that has to stay. Gold Sark. I, I thought right. Gold Sark was going to be the last one, if anything. I thought Gold Sark was going to stay at one. Maybe the Bruce Dragon at two. Maybe, maybe, maybe Dragon Ruler up to three, but they probably keep it at two because OCG has one. And then maybe start moving Gold Sark. But nope, you're just like one to three Gold Sark. Here you go. Like, wow, okay. Weird. Yep, and that's that's your uh, August 29th uh, TCG list. Like, it's not terrible. You said yeah. you killed the shit out of Monarch, so yay. You hit the you hit some Pendulum, so yay. Uh, well, you uh, didn't ma- kill Monarch, so you just made Monarchs not meta. But Monarchs will still be a thing. Okay, but as long as you're not meta, that's all I care about. Because fuck you. Uh, your co- Cosmos are still there, so they're still there. Like I said, I still think it's going to be Blue Eyes and PK are definitely, like, up there. Uh, Cosmos, yeah. they're going to be more of that anti-meta fucking one-up you bat. So that's still there. You um, didn't hit fucking Card Demise. You didn't hit fucking Strike. Nope. You didn't hit fucking Norden. Nope. You randomly hit Maxi because, why the fuck not, we're Kvabito. And you banned Kaiser Coliseum that no one in their fucking mind. In the world. Play. Not even the most fucking stally card of demise, fuck you, I'm gonna draw all my cards and fuck you kind of decks were playing it. So why did you hit it? <laughs> so It's like you fucking smoke some crack off it's not some fucking crack off a hooker's fine and be like, Yeah Oh fucking cars of colours should be banned, like No. Okay. <laughs> so uh I know I already had my initial reaction, you guys already told me, but if you guys want to have more conversation about the band list in the comment section below, more power to you. So thank you, Sandy, for joining me. No problem. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys next week with some more Death Pro Commentary. Alright people, thanks for watching.